Using an oscilloscope is a great first step in any circuit diagnosis. But do you know the difference between a good trace and a bad one? G'day, I'm Zach and welcome to AutoMate. In this video, we'll look at traces from position sensor inputs to the ECM. We will learn the best setup for an oscilloscope and how to interpret the waveform. Multimeters perform reasonable circuit checks, but react too slowly to display accurate data. An oscilloscope displays electrical signals as a waveform. They have variable voltage scales, adjustable time frames, and multiple sample rates. This helps paint a real-time picture for the technician. With all that said, let's jump in and have a look at some position sensor waveforms. The TPS can be a contact or contactless type, with the possibility of one or two position sensors. Connect the sample channel to the signal return of the TPS and the ground lead to a known earth point. I'll set the scope time base to 1 second intervals and a voltage scale at a maximum of 10 volts DC. With the ignition on, slowly depress the pedal and watch the display. This is a good trace. We can see the voltage increase and decrease without any abnormalities. Like what you see? To gain access to the most advanced automotive technical training available, visit our website and become the best technician you can be.